was saying for you personally, what was the catalyst for you deciding that this is the path I'm going to take? I'm swimming because this is what I want to do. And I'm going to do this, this, and this, as opposed to just following what everybody else is doing. So that was a lot, but. Okay. So I'm not sure if I'm answering the right question. So I had a push and I had to make a decision, right? And I knew I had talents, but nobody knew that I had talents. And I'm not trying to be narcissistic, but I knew, you you know, there was, it wasn't like, oh, I'm so good at so many things. Which one do I pick? It was like, here's the one thing that I've always been doing. Nobody knows that I've been doing it. And I'm going to pick that. I was also at a stage in my life where, again, it, it, it was sink or swim. And I was comfortable enough in some things like I knew I wasn't going to be that 20 year old doing it I was going to do it the way I was going to do it and be comfortable with doing it and I think that and just having no choice but to step into fear and just doing things and then creating relationships with people that you could have honest conversations with them and and find out who who those people are in the same vicinity and sphere as what you're doing and and create a relationship with them that's not based on jealousy or envy or anything like that. Like let's, let's collaborate together. And I was able to connect with you. Timing was really good and ask you questions like, Hey, what do you do in this situation? Or let's, let's talk about this and let's both elevate ourselves Mm -hmm. rather than comparing and being like, I'm not sharing any secrets with you. I think both of us, I'm, I'm speaking for myself, but creating those relationships with people that um, invigorate, energize you, um, push you forward or create accountability for you, elevate both of your businesses. Mm -hmm. I love, I love, there's one, my my biggest takeaway, there's a lot of takeaways. Is you. (laughs) uh, (laughs) One of the biggest nuggets you dropped there was, you know, you were sort of at a stage in your life and you're on the second half of your life, if you will. Shut the front door. We all are. So, but, but there's a, there's a, there's a science behind cognitive decline and purpose. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>